Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and actually welcome to Object Competitions Season 4. It's finally here guys, I know a lot of you have been uh, after this for quite a while. So here we go, so this is going to be interesting because we've got 15 submissions for today's competition which I believe is an all time high, so it's higher than ever which is absolutely amazing. But if you've never seen object competitions before, it's basically where we pick an object. So you guys in the Discord server, you guys all vote for an object to, um, to pick um, that we feature in the video. And then everyone makes that object. And then I feature them all in the video. And then you guys in my Discord all vote for the winner. And I have no influence over what object is picked or what object wins. I'm simply just hosting it and showing off what everyone has made. So without further ado, let's get started. So... The object that you guys have picked is Proxima C. So if I go ahead and just search comp, I've got them all here. So here we go. Look at look how many we got here. This is absolutely crazy. So let's see who we have first. So this is from the user Canis Majoris. And a lot of the guys put descriptions for their objects here. So this should be quite interesting. Right. So here it is. First of the objects. So. Let's just get the description of what he has uh, put as well. So Proxima C is a rocky planet roughly seven times the mass of Earth. It is covered in large deposits of glowing red gemstone bright enough to be seen from space at night and frozen oceans span its surface with possible liquid water buried beneath due to the planet's highly active core. After study it has been discovered that Proxima C is made of different materials from the rest of the Proxima Centauri system. Due to this discovery it is believed that Proxima C was once a rogue planet that was caught into the star's orbit. Proxima C is the largest candidate for extraterrestrial life as under the under uh, glacial oceans could support some life. It is a hazardous zone of its star before it ejected. Okay. Interesting. Right. Cool. So I believe that this object, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know much about the Proxima um, exoplanets. Obviously, Proxima B, we know, that's a, we know that exists. But Proxima C, honestly, I'm not sure if this is fully confirmed. I think this is a speculative planet, but I'm sure you guys can correct me in the pl in, in the um, comments. Is this actually a real, like, is this 100% confirmed, this uh, Proxima Centauri C, or is it a, is it still a speculative planet? Let me know. But yeah, there we go. So there is the user uh, VY Canis Majoris. That's their object. So next up, actually, we'll have a quick view of it, actually, in, we'll go to just uh, flashlight as well, just so we can, I don't know, there we go. We've got a studio. So there's a good look of it all the way around. So we can see it's got nice red, nice white storm clouds uh, going with it there. And you can see onto the surface as well. So a very, very nice red uh, feature. Uh, no, we want uh, directional. There we go. Cool. Right, next up. Oh, I'm going to have to keep searching it. I forgot the game does that now. Right. So next up, we have got um, from the user Endries. So let's see. Did they put any description? Let's see. So a lot of people did. I'm just trying to find it because we have a lot of submissions here. Uh, I don't think they did. No, they didn't. Okay, so here it is. So we actually have a gas giant. Okay, interesting. Okay, so here it is. So they've taken a whole different take on it, and they've gone with a gas giant with the dark spot effect. Okay, what do you think of that? Now, that's looking pretty good. I like the dark spot effect, I have to say. I'm a bit of a sucker for that, so looks very, very nice indeed. Nice blue and white color theme to it as well. It does look really good, so... There is their interpretation of Proxima C, so looking good. Next up. Ah, oh, so annoying, I have to keep searching it. It didn't have to use to do that. Okay, so next up we have got the user GGGGGFWEFS. That's their Discord name. So let's uh, see what they're prepared for us. Uh, did they put any description? No, they didn't. Okay, so here it is. Another gas giant, and they've gone with a highly exotic green, yellow, and blue world. So what do you think of that? It's very, very neon coloured. But there you go. So there it is there. Looking good. Okay, next up. So we have got from the user de Munich. So there's one of the veterans here. He's been in competitions before. So here we go. That is what they that is their interpretation. Okay, looking good. And I believe de Munich has put a enormous description so we're going to go ahead and read through this right now so it's looking good as well have a quick look of it uh, underneath the clouds as well so that's what it looks like underneath oh look, look how thick the clouds are oh wow we okay so he must have some modded stat yeah 500 percentage so that is got probably some modding going on there but that's looking good i like it cool right 
So he's put in his description, the year is 2256. Proximacy, also known as Voris, named after uh, Boreas. I'm completely butchering these pronunciations, I'm so sorry. The Greek god of the cold north wind and bringer of winter is the fourth and last exoplanet around the red dwarf star Proxima C. Okay. Discovered in the year 2020, it confirmed four years later. Okay, so is it actually... Oh, no, confirmed four years later. So that implies it's the year 2024 when it was discovered. So is this object still speculative then? I'm assuming it is. Um, Proxima C. Okay. Um, it was first thought to be a gaseous mini Neptune, but after the WTP warped to Proxima mission in 2211, it is revealed to actually have a solid surface and much different than expected. The internal composition is estimated to be 60% ices, 32% silicates, 7% metals, and 1% unidentified. Okay, so does that actually match up? Um, here, oh no, he actually, okay. Interesting. So there it is anyway. Uh, main characteristics, pale orange, almost fully opaque global clouds. A thick blue atmosphere of around 10 bars pressure. Frozen seas mainly made of nitrogen and methane mixture. Mass is roughly 6.7 Earths. Radius is 2.12 Earths. Gravity 1.5 Earths. Surface features. The planet shares surface features that remind of both Pluto and Titan. The surface of the planet is very desolate but also colourful and interesting. Featuring young lands of pale whitish blue glaciers and nitrogen ice. Big brown patches of older falling covered land and the very fast smooth frozen seas of N2 ice. Uh, the planet has two main frozen seas. They might liquefy when the planet reaches or nears a uh, pericenter. Both containing way more N2 and CH4 than all oceans on Earth combined that contain water. The northern sea, Mare Grindanis, and the southern sea, Mare Pertusu. Pertusu. These seas are so large that the combined surface area is larger than the entire surface area of the Earth. Other interesting stuff. The, the mission realized in 2243 returned samples of two billion year old icy rock with traces of what could be fossils of silicon based microorganisms. It is so big that all the rocky planets in our solar system fit inside twice. So, how big is this guy actually? So, it's 2.12 radius of Earth. So, okay, this is a pretty big deal then. So, kilometers, it's uh, 13,000 radius. Okay, so that's uh, it's fairly large. I mean, if we compare it to, say, um, Neptune, okay, so. Yeah, and compared to the bog standard Earth, you can see, yeah, I mean, everyone's getting the size pretty large here so far. Okay, so this is actually the smallest of the ones uh, here so quickly, but okay, cool. So there is the Munich's one. So, really cool. Very, very nice indeed. And they are a competition winner as well. They have won one in the past. I'm just looking at the uh, all-time leaderboard here. Okay, so let's see if we can get their tally up, maybe. Okay, right. Next up. So, if we do this again... Proxima C from Jenny, the user Jenny Tools. Let's see, did they put any description? Uh, okay. They've asked me to put rings on it. Okay, so here it is. Okay. So we'll just put it over here. So they've gone with a more brown coloured one, obviously with some storm clouds as well. Let's have a look underneath. So there you go. Okay, so all of that dark brown orange. And they have also asked for a ring assist, so we'll put those on briefly. So they have asked for inner radii. Okay, so we need to go to, we need to actually customise this. Okay, so they've asked for, if we go to Radius, so 0, uh, 0.0718, and then the outer radius they've asked for 0, 0.0415. Okay, and that, they want that in lunar distance, actually. Okay, so, oh, oh God, okay, right. This could be quite a large ring. Okay. So it's 0 0.0718. Oh, it didn't enter. What is that? 0 0.0718. And then here. So they put the half at lunar distance. Okay. And then uh, secondly, 0 0.0415. Why is it not entering? Come on. 0 0.0415. Voila. Okay, that's changed it. Okay. And then select uh, that. What is going on? Why is it not adding it? Come on. Why is it? It's all changed again. Come on. So 0 0.07 and then lunar distance. Just round it up. 0 0.0. Oi. 0 0.04. Voila. Add ring. Uh, it's very, very dim. But it is there. Uh, lighting mode. Enhanced. Uh, oh, wow, okay, so th that's all it would roughly look like. I don't know what other set of rings are all about. 
That's very, very bizarre. But there you go. That's roughly what they've asked for. So, looking good. Okay. Uh, next up, if we go back to here. Uh, I've, re I've also reorganised my planets. That I made them look a lot more organised. I've moved all the stuff. I've moved all the stars down here as well. Because uh, my objects were all mucked up. Because I had to swap computer drives and all that. So, now I'm on a new PC. I've organised them all nicely. So, we've got my stars down here. Made them all look pretty as well as a side note. So, yeah, it looks good. And I've also updated a lot of these planets here, which I need to show off in a, a system at some point. But yeah, all of these objects here, all of these I've updated into the latest version of the game. So these have all got updated textures and stuff like that. And also I've yeah, fixed all of these as well. So I've got all the custom variants of the solar system planets there as well. We've got Orcus, Sirius, Make, Make, Far Out, Sedna. Uh, the Goblin should be there. I don't know where he's gone, but he should be somewhere. I'm sure I added him there. That's weird. But um, yeah, anyway, so if we search competition... Okay, next up we have got uh, from the user CWB. Did they put any... Oh, no, the, the user's actually just WB. Decided to go over more gassy design. Okay, that's what they put. So here it is. We've got another gas world. Okay, so we've got a very pale blue, white, greyish world, as we can see here. Looking good. Almost reminds me of like a very, very pale object like Uranus. I mean, if I compared it to, say, a realistic Uranus. So, I mean, I think this one's slightly enhanced, actually, but... Yeah, if I was to make it, like, ultra-realistic Uranus, I mean, we'd be looking more like something like that. So, I mean, yeah, it's got a bit of similarity, I guess, but also Uranus is more bland. So, okay, cool. Uh, next up, we have got... Okay, what is this? So, this is from Chris. Okay, so this is Siren. So, if you remember Siren, he is the all-time champion of competitions. So, if I just go to the leaderboard here... Oh, my... Okay, this looks really exotic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. So... Uh, All-time leaderboard. He has won seven times. And just to put that into perspective, second place has only won four times. Error XD, if you saw the old series. And Mad Planet Guy, stuck in 2D Tispole. They all on four wins, but Siren is on seven. So he's three wins ahead of joint second place between three people. So he's miles ahead of the competition in the leaderboard. So let's see if we can uh, get him a win as well, maybe in this season. So should be uh, should be pretty cool. So looking good right anyway so let's see what he has put for um his description here so did he put anything let's see da, da, da. Where, where's this one uh where, where's this one uh, just scroll through. we've got a lot of objects here I'm just trying to find it let's see if he put a description i've got to scroll up the chat okay he didn't put a description but here is his proxima c so as we can see very, very thick clouds, as we can see. Is that an ocean underneath, or is that just a thick atmosphere? Uh, let's have a look. So, atmosphere's off. Clouds are off. Oh, oh, very reflective. Okay, put the clouds back on. So, the clouds are kind of covering the surface, but the surface is still very, very bright and reflective. So, it gives you that cool glowing cloud effect. Looks cool. But it's not actually the clouds that are glowing. It's actually the surface. The clouds are the dark areas. The surface is the glowing stuff. Pretty cool. An atmosphere on it as well. A nice white pale atmosphere. It's a very mysterious looking world we have got here. Okay. Looking good. So that's a very nice one. Uh, next up we have got... So this is from... Who's this? This is the user Tuppy. Also a returning uh, member of the competition series. So let's see what they have got for us here. So uh, Tuppy... Uh, okay, they were the last one to submit actually. Okay. So here it is. So it's got some city lights on the back as well. Cool. So we've got a nice, uh, more basic design of Rocky Planet. Uh, here's my Proxima Centauri C object submission. The Proxima Centauri... Okay, so the, the Proxima Centauri C candidate, in my interpretation, has the mass of 7.4 Earth masses and is a rocky planet. This planet has a very thin, hazy atmosphere or an atmosphere composed mostly of sulfur, iron, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. The planet itself is very dry, cratered, and full of dust. Colossal dust devils form commonly in the atmosphere of uh, Centauri C and violent haboobs also form rarely, mostly during the summertime. Huge deposits of sulphur and other precious rocks can be found below the atmosphere in very deep caves uh, without the need um, of digging it, which makes it uh, quite a view. Aside from trenches, there are also some huge canyons and mountains. Very, very deep inside the planet itself lies the scarce um, aquifers of bromine. The planet is also known for having huge uh, thermals, supervolcanoes and bromine geysers in the surface. As you can tell, the geological activity of this planet is fairly high. Due to the turbulent atmosphere of this planet, a variety of rare clouds can be seen, those clouds being mostly vapour from the uh, fumaroles and geysers. Some clouds can also look like uh, Kelvin Helmholtz, uh, 
surf I, I can't even say some of these but um yeah a lot of uh, different shapes and there are more foreign cloud types that we aren't aware of due to the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere there are also theories that this planet was once visited by alien civilizations due to foreign oddly weird crafted debris so that is pure conspiracy hope you enjoyed my submission so he's gone with a more realistic approach um feature wise as we can see looking good okay next up we have got so we've got the user lava planet so there we go so let's see what they have got so here it is she's got some uh, patches of water the first one to really have uh, some water by the looks of it or is it or is that just a colored piece of surface let's have a look no that's definitely water okay They've gone with, a, it looks like a Pluto texture as well. That's looking pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. Did they put any description? Uh, yes, they did. Proxima Centauri C is a very strong exoplanet candidate. Okay, so it definitely isn't a confirmed world then. Orbiting the red star Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to the sun and part of a triple star system. The discovery was published in January 2020. In June 2020, the planet's existence was confirmed using Hubble astronomy data from C. 1995 allowing its inclination and true mass to be determined oh so is it, is it real I, i'd have to look this up honestly let me know is, is this actually 100 percent confirmed proxima centauri c let me know but yeah there we go so that is from the user lava planet okay next up we have got this blue one so this is from the user uh, caesar hugh boy okay so another gas jump we've got a real big mix look at none of them are similar at all everything is different okay so this one it is a gas well I wish I could save the rings with it, but here it is anyways. Okay, so he did mention rings. We'll give it a basic set of rings, I guess. Um, we'll just go with the good old 2 to 4 radar. Okay, they're just a little something, but there you go. So he did he did want a bit of rings, so there you go. Got a bit of uh, rings to go with it. Uh, next up, we have got... Whose is this? Is it going to load? Come on. Whose is that? Uh, let's place it, see what it says. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this is from the user uh, Zeonot. I'm assuming it's how you say that. So there we go. So it's an all-white frozen world. If rings saved, I would go all out on the rings. Also, the city lights are meant to be glow like glowing bacteria or something. There was also a big impact crater with some water on it from a long time ago. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, there it is. Hey, very nice. Okay. So a massive crater. Looking good. And he also did mention rings as well. So we will give it a set of rings. Uh, like the other ones so there you go just a basic uh, basic set there cool okay next up we have got uh voila so this is from the user nick 118 here okay so here it is so we got we have to do we have got a trend with brownish orange wells we've got a few of those now we've got about four of them interesting stuff okay so did they put any description as well? Let's have a look. Doesn't look like it. So I can find them. No, they didn't put any descriptions. So here it is. So atmosphere. We've got, obviously got some, uh, looks like some paler whiter clouds here as well. Looking underneath, we've got an orange and black sort of a uh, deserty sort of volcanic looking surface. Okay. Very nice indeed. Obviously a faint brownish grayish atmosphere. Okay, cool. Next up. I've got the um, user Kerbal here. Okay, so this is a bluish world. It looks like it's got tinted. There's some modding going on here. Okay. Oi, oi. Okay. So, Kerbal. Let's see what they put. Any description at all? My first attempt at object modding. Okay, so it is a tinted world. We can see it's got tinted city lights or something there. Okay. So that's what it looks like underneath. You can see it's a very, very tinted ocean. Take the clouds. Okay, the clouds are very, very exotic as well. Let's just actually tune those up a bit. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty cool. Put the clouds here back on as well. There you go. Looking good. But obviously, it was intended to have thinner ones. So there you go. But that's what it looks like. Very nice. Okay. Cool. So very mysterious proximate. This one's all ocean world as well, if you notice. Look. It's all ocean. Okay. Very nice indeed. Next up, we have got. Oh, oh! I went on the surface. <laughs> uh, let's get off that. Okay, right. So this is uh, Chen Sitch, also a returning figure to the object series, object competition series. And we can see their world has been battered up. Okay, got fresh craters. All right. Okay, so what do they put? Uh, where are we? Where is that one? 
any description at all. Uh, where are we? Okay, here we go. I did it rocky, although most people think it's a gas giant. Three collision events recently, two of which resulted in the creation of its rings. Lots of canyons and ice. Okay, so another world we need to add rings to. Okay. Uh, voila. Cool. And let's drag it over here. There it is. Okay, look how many we got. This is crazy. Right. Awesome. Uh, let's go again. Who have we got next? And then next up we got uh, Ryan. Ryan Nanik. Here we go. Let's place their one in there as well. Looking good. So how many have we got? So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> That's pretty crazy stuff. Wowee. Okay. So there is their version of Proxima C here as well. So very similar to the gas chunk we saw. So if we, so those are probably the closest similarities. Though Those guys here, look, they are got some similarities. This one's got more color enhancements to it, but... There you go. Looking good. All right. Cool. Very, very impressive stuff. I'm very, very... I'm, I'm astounded with how much work has been put into these. I mean, look, look how many we got. That is... That's awesome. That is really, really cool. So, yeah, it looks great. I'm just looking for one more, though. I'm, uh, did we have one from the user Jenny Tools? Because I don't think I read their description. Where, where's Jet? I'm sure. Uh, let's have a look quickly. Oh yeah, we did. We did place this one, didn't we? Yeah, that's uh, that's that one, isn't it? Okay, yeah, cool. Okay, we did read it. Okay, excellent. All right, looking good. So there is our full lineup of the Proxima Centauri C object composition. So let's just get them all in the line here. Let's also delete the rings. And voila, here we go. Right. So there's our full lineup. What do you think of that? Now that is a pretty exotic lineup every world is different in its own way none of them are similar we can see there's a few similarities down here with the rocky ones We've got that orangey theme to them but yeah they still look very very different so pretty cool stuff indeed so if we just go through them all again so we'll start from the smallest one so here we are so this is from uh this was lava planets world so the smallest of them all then we have jenny tools so that's some of the uh, slightly thicker atmosphere got some storm clouds on it then we have a Zeo Knot here. That big crater of water there. Next up we've got Nick 118's world. Then we have a P Centauri C. Who's is that one? Uh, who's is that? Uh, is it this one? Is that Tuppy's one? Uh... Yes, that's Tuppy's one. Okay. Why does his name not show up? That's weird. But yeah, there it is. So that's Tuppy's one. Uh, next up, we've got this one. So this is by Kerbal or Ker Ebel. Then we have Demunix one. So that's one with the very, very thick clouds looking very, very nice. Blue atmosphere. Then we have the heavily cratered one. So Proxima C. Uh, this was. Uh, Who was this one? This was. Uh, that doesn't really help. Uh. Oh, can I search correctly? Come on. Uh, this was Chen Sitch's one. Okay, excellent. Then we had Chris's one. So this is Siren's one. So our highest uh, all-time winner there. Uh, then we have Proxima Centauri C. Yeah, please, guys, put your names into the actual name here. If you just rename the file, it doesn't show up in the game. So then we do struggle to find out whose is whose because we have to keep searching it every single time. So this was uh, Caesar Hugh Boy's one. Okay. Then we have uh, WB, the user WB's uh, one. So there is that one. And then we have the very green one. So we know this one. This is uh, GGGGGFWEF's Proxima Centauri. So the very exotic green. Okay. Uh, next up, we have this Proxima Centauri to see as well. Again, we're going to have to search up. Please remember to put your names in the objects in future, guys. Um, so this was Ryan X one, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so there's their one. Then we have the exotic blue and white um, coloured one. So if we go ahead and... Game, stop doing that. That's very annoying. Uh, so that was um, Endry's one. And then lastly, the big red one. That was VY Canis Majoris's one. 
So that was the very, very red exotic one. The biggest of the lot, actually, as well, the Rocky Planet. But we can see quite a uh, difference in the sizes out of all the objects. So the smallest one is 1.3 Earth in radius. The largest one goes up to 4.26. We have quite a variety of size there. But yeah, there we are, guys. So that does it for this object competition episode one of season four. So for the first two episodes of this season as well, the winning objects will be included in the size comparison 2022 edition. So if you win it, your object will be included, but we can only, we can only fit two competitions in between now and then, unfortunately. So yeah, there's only gonna be two objects uh, that will be included from this series in that video. But yeah, with all that said and done, guys, good luck to everyone. If you'd like to participate in the voting for this series, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, and you'll be able to uh, find the uh, chat there where you can uh, vote by adding a reaction to whoever's name you want to vote for. You can only vote for one person and obviously not yourself as well, so please keep that in mind. Any uh, votes that you vote for yourself or vote more than once, they will not be counted. They will be deleted, so yeah, please keep that in mind. But yeah, with that all said and done, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the return to object competitions and yeah let's see uh who comes out on top we'll view the results in the next episode next saturday so with that all said and done guys really really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah that all said and done good luck to everyone once more and i'll see you in the next video goodbye